So the information provided prior to the question gives us this linear function, f of x equals 0 0.28x minus 2.9. We're also told that that function represents uh, or models the length in centimeters of above ground growth known as shoot length of cotton seedlings after emerging from seeds where x represents the seed mass in milligrams and is between 68 and 80, right? So the, the mass of these seeds are somewhere between 68 and 80 milligrams. So question 24 says, what is the best interpretation of 0 0.28 in this context? So I'm always paying attention to the format of these equations, right? We have f of x equals 0 0.28x minus 2.9. Um, on this test, it happens quite often that we get equations that look a lot like y equals mx plus b, which is exactly what we have here. So understanding this relationship actually helps me to understand the meaning of these numbers that I'm provided, right? So for me, the slope is equal to 0 0.28, right? So 0 0.28 must be the length, right? So the 0 0.28 centimeters per probably milligram, I would imagine. Um, and then B represents my Y intercept, which is the negative 2.9, which makes sense because it's, you know, the seed starts underground. So underground by 2.9 centimeters. So let's see, we want the interpretation of 0 0.28. I basically just described that as being the slope and having something to do with the rate of growth. So let's see which answer choice matches that. Choice A, the maximum mass of the seed was 0 0.28 milligrams. Definitely not true. Mass is X and mass is between 68 and 80. So definitely not choice A. Choice B, the maximum shoot length of the seedlings was 0 0.28. No, also not true. Um, this is a slope, right? So slopes never tell you the maximum anything. It just tells you how how something's um, growing or, or like increasing or decreasing. Um, so not a maximum length, although it does have to do with length. But B is out of there. Choice C, for every two seed lengths with one centimeter difference in the shoot lengths, the estimated difference in the masses of the, seedling, of, of the seeds is 0 0.28 milligrams. Hmm, I don't think so. So the, the 0 0.28... I believe has to do with length, right? Because this entire function is about length, right? This is all about above ground growth. Only the X value is about the mass. So crossing C out for that reason. Choice D, for every two seeds with one milligram difference in the masses, the estimated difference in the shoot lengths of the seedlings is 0 0.28 centimeters. That's my answer. That's the answer I'm gonna go with. It's basically saying we're at 0 0.28 centimeters per milligram, right? Which would make sense here, um, given that slope is rise over run. And remember, rise is a Y value and run is an X value. And for us, the rise has to do with growth and the X value has to do with mass. So this just tracks really well with this understanding that choice D is presenting. So choice D is the best answer here.